Hello everyone, we're in Schaefer's Marina in the city of Wellington and today we're taking out the L45 which is a Legacy 45 aluminium based hull and uh, we're going to take it for a spin out in the harbour and find out what she's all about. Let's go. The Legacy 45 must be one of the best looking new boats around. The proportions above the waterline of this aluminium motor yacht are classic yet contemporary. The vessel looks balanced and the colour scheme is sharp. On the water, she's as pretty as a picture. Being based in Wellington for most of the year, with summer spent in the Marlborough Sounds, this boat has to cope with all seasons in operation and every sort of sea condition. The Crook Strait crossing is relatively short in distance, but notoriously treacherous. Safe crossings take planning, but the prize is worth the effort. We conducted our tests on Wellington Harbour in moderate conditions, but found ourselves yearning for a more extended trip across the strait to the Sounds. The hull is like that of the Legacy 35 we reviewed last year, with a fully immersed chine to avoid chine slap. It is an evolution of a hull shape that has been used by sports fishers and military boats in the past and which really comes into its own in rough seas. The Legacy 45 was built in Fokotane by the Shaw family, which has a well-earned reputation for producing high-quality, award-winning aluminium boats honed by over 20 years of continuous operation. The Legacy 45 was designed by the world-famous New Zealand-based LaMotion design team. Craig, a naval architect, and Andrew, a specialist marine composites engineer, are part of the brains trust behind the design, and the pair were hands-on throughout the project. This level of thinking, support, and build quality should give any Legacy owner peace of mind. The L45 is intended to fulfil the role of a luxury motor yacht capable of operating in typical New Zealand coastal conditions. The layout lends itself to entertaining family and friends on the water. That said, plenty of fishing action is possible too. The live bait tank on the port side should certainly help with that. The deck is accessible to walk around on both sides, bordered by a large stainless steel bow rail. The bow area has a large double day bed and comes complete with drink holders and a spot for the sun umbrella. The Legacy 45 features two large cabins, each with spacious bathrooms housing a head, vanity with basin and shower facilities. Both cabins offer views outside via large side windows and each cabin has a large island bed, a wardrobe and lots of storage space. In the saloon, the dining table is large enough to seat four to five adults and the galley is well proportioned with a large sink and generous bench space. There is enough refrigeration capacity for a family to spend two or three weeks away before fresh produce might be needed again. The twin captain chairs at the helm station were comfortable and gave excellent visibility around the boat. The hard top has a reasonably sized Webasto sliding roof for sunlight and ventilation. The front windscreen is in three sections for strength, each with its own windscreen wiper. The dashboard gave thoughtful clarity to the twin ray marine screens, which have the typical array of functions, including radar and a powerful one kilowatt transducer for the sound of fish finder. This boat was also equipped with C-Zone digital switching, with panels to operate the system seemingly everywhere for easy accessibility. Outside, the rear cockpit has enough alfresco dining space for six, and is nicely connected to the boat's interior by large sliding doors and an oversized electric window. That said, air conditioning ensures it is comfortable inside when it's either too hot or too cold. The cockpit has an electric barbecue powered by the onboard genset, along with a chest freezer, which is an excellent place to store food for longer voyages or fishing bait and a cruise catch. The L45 as reviewed had twin Volvo D6 IPS 650s, each giving 480 horsepower. 
These engines have been mated with seven bladed propellers. The IPS drive gives excellent manoeuvrability at all speeds, so neither stern nor bow thrusters are required. The Volvo IPS system is a fully integrated engine, drive and control package designed from the ground up to replace traditional inboard shaft drive systems. Some of the most essential advantages of powering a boat with IPS include better top speeds, improved fuel efficiency, better use of internal space and lower noise levels. Another very unusual feature of these drives is that as opposed to fixed shaft drives, the pods can rotate through 180 degrees. This means that they can be turned to walk a boat sideways in either direction. Better yet, they articulate independently, allowing for complete and accurate joystick control. Whether you want to spin the boat on the spot, move it sideways, forward or aft, or do a little of each simultaneously. During the test run back to the marina, we ran at 20 knots in a 20 knot plus Wellington wind, which created a moderate chop. The ride was smooth for the conditions and surprisingly quiet. These zip wakes helped get the trim right, but the hull performance shone through. The L45 design is a clear example of what is possible with thoughtful design. The test boat is well finished and nicely set up, so it should easily be the pride and joy of a couple or a family wanting long weekends away, enjoying cruises to different waters around our coastline. For the weekend angler and diver, this boat will deliver too. The shape and size of the rear cockpit mean that you can fish several people at a time or fish by yourselves while others relax in the cockpit in the sun. It is said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but this craft sure did look good to those of us there on test day. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.